Thank Thanks to Mark. Thanks a million. We also have our regular contributors that we can't forget, and of course one of those is Dan Murphy. Hi, Dan. Hello, Jim. Dan, there's only one thing on people's uh, lips, isn't there, for the last few days uh, since Sunday, and that has been, well, number one, I suppose, the, the, what has gone on, uh, or what went on in, in Parnell Park last Sunday, but other, the, you know, the fallout from it, and where do we go from here? It, it's, you know, Jim, it's, it's so frightening. Where to go from here is actually, you know, we, we actually don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, I never remember any county or any situation, it'd be Clover County, that feel finished up in this situation, and it's it's absolutely frightening, and and I think the powers that he um, has to take an awful lot of responsibility here, the people that uh, cajole people into voting, however it was done, there was, there was lots of talks of people that there was money due to people and thought they wouldn't get it, unless, yeah. unless, unless it was paid up, unless they voted in a certain way, and if this, if this is true, I mean, how proud are they today of watching this, and you know, these young fellas, you're knocking the stuffing out of these, and, and, and if they get another beating or two like this, I mean, hurling, it won't be me Captain Cup, we'll be talking about the Munster Championship, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be talking about, you know, an answer and team, yeah. and that is unfair, and uh, it, with, with a lad, we'll say, like, the Vars Call Reef, you know, and young minors, one for 16, down the great hope has been done at underage in clubs and in the county underage, and but what are you aiming for now? Nothing. Yeah. Isn't that it? <clears throat> that it, you know, for the last six months we've been talking about this, and it, it's almost time to put it to bed. But we, we, every time we think we're going to put it to bed, I, guess I think a lot of people went to Parnell Park last Sunday, ho- certainly hoping. We were all hoping, but certainly justified in thinking that Dublin or Limerick were in a chance for, be- for beating Dublin, and that just fell on its on its feet, and we're back to square one now again. Except maybe we're we're actually gone beyond. Um, you know, the starting point. We now need to recoup the start from the very, uh, the absolute beginning, as it, as it were. Yeah, yeah, well, I think we have discussed it for the last few weeks about, about this weekend right after 2010, well, after last weekend, we can definitely do that. Mm-hmm. And we have been saying, get people together. And, you know, the incident in Cork was heading the, the way things are gone here. Mm-hmm. And the supporters nearly took charge of the situation then. There was yeah. up to 15,000 people matched. Mm-hmm. There was a supporters forum formed. There is no working with the county board and parking, coming up with some fabulous ideas that they have come up that the, the, with the equivalent of the Mackey Stand draw here. That monies from that would be paid to young hodlers who were unemployed and bring them in coaching in the schools, coaching in, 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 in you know, clubs maybe where there isn't great uh, holding tradition. And, you know, we have to look at something like that and get the, the, the thing involved. But, I mean, what's happening, I mean, the, from what I can see, and it's, it's, it's I've been in, in, in all the most of the countries this week, uh, are Waterford, and what everyone is saying, they're shocked. And, you know, they're genuine people who are genuine GA people, who are genuinely, genuinely shocked across the line. And as one man put it very well, like that, he said, it looks like he said that the, the, the people in charge in Limerick are puppets. And he says, who are the puppeteers? And that is the big question. Who's calling the shot at, on high? Well, they're, not, they're behind the scenes, and it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's frightening. Well, on that note, then we'll uh, we'll leave that thought with people uh, who are the puppeteers indeed, and who are the puppets. And I'm sure people will. But of course, then if we don't hear the truth, isn't, isn't that it? If we don't get the truth out, and and people are not honest and forthright, the, the blanks will be filled in. Yeah, well, and you know, Jim, it's 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 so tragic because we have discussed this and we have said this on on, on previous stations. The Limerick public support, while they mightn't be members of GA clubs. If you have a successful team, they'll be with you. Mm-hmm. And please, God, like we have with the football last Sunday in Dublin, or the hockey last Sunday in Dublin, with the football this weekend, and mm-hmm. hopefully there's a national title coming coming the next way. And, you know, some of the fellas of the original 12 that were dropped out of action this weekend. And hopefully they will, they'll, they'll be able to redeem their name, their good name, that was then when, when the, the comments that were made about the original 12 that were, and hope that they will be back with their heads held high and hold Limerick football high at weekend. On that note, then, we'll, uh, we'll say thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Dan.